Hi everybody, this is Gigi. This is a weekly tower reading for Cancer for November 23rd till 29. Hi my beautiful, beautiful Cancer. I want to thank you for all the support, all the like and share and the subscribe. Uh, for last week it was my first week on YouTube and you have been so welcoming and so sweet. So thank you very much for all of your comments. Um, I appreciate everything. Um, it was really, really nice to hear from you. Okay, so let's see what we have for Cancer for this upcoming week. I will pull three cards to see the energy and messages from Spirit. The first card I have is the Ten of Swords. It's good to have the Ten of Swords, especially in the position of the past you know cancer sometime you know they they give people chances and sometimes you know it doesn't work but there's other they're so really sensitive maybe there's something in the past that really really the last few days that really made you um, upset or it's an energy there's something that's gonna you know also there's a full moon coming a full moon will be in your 12th house full moon in a 12th house you know sometimes it's really in our head and this is also an energy that is not really physical uh, but it's present in our mind sometimes so it could be that you feel that um, again you want to um, remove yourself from some from some energies or you decided to really conclude things because for cancer when they have to go to this place where they decide what's best for them if if the best for them is to quit something or just they're gonna do it even if it hurts they're gonna do it they're gonna do it because they have standard they have some standard for themselves and although they're very nurturing and you know very sweet if they don't feel a right balance they don't feel right deeply they just gonna leave it all behind so there's something maybe of course it's the first card we'll have to see the other cards for the for the rest of the week to complete the energy we have the page of cups in the position of present I think you know what you're just clearing Clearing things out first. You're starting from your mind. This full moon is just clearing things out. Maybe you're a place in your life when you do, you you're noticing that you have self-sabotaging ways of thinking, or you know you could just stop thinking. You know, caring what other people think. You know, it's really in your head. There's this click when you this week that you'll do, and you're like, you know what? I don't care. Whatever it is. Uh, you know when you get to this place and you're like, who cares? Whatever happened. Que sera, sera. You know? Because when you have the page of cups, it's the beginning of love. And for you to have this in a present position to finally, you know, to to have this new development in your in your personal, intimate relationship is because you had to let go of something in your mind. Okay? But a uh, page of cups in the position of the present is great because you feel new, you feel fresh. Okay, I, I mean the new moon that we had, new moon is beginning, was in 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 your first house, first house a few weeks ago. I think maybe two weeks ago, a few days ago. Let's say that, and we still new moon is powerful. We're still within the energy, so there's something new and fresh that is exciting to you. Maybe you have a new crush on someone now that you let go of a relationship or you know of something maybe now you're looking at something else maybe that's what you needed you know we always say the best way to forgive forget someone is to meet someone else but it could also be in terms of your work maybe you decided to change your attitude you know this thing that we say kill them with kindness and just there's a switch in terms of energy it's a good energy page of cup because it's a friendly energy. 
you're friendly to people, people are friendly to you. You know, not because you have the Ten of Swords in the past that you, this is what... Ten of Swords, like I said, it's a mental card. It's not the appearance, it's in your mind. Because when you see this card, what do you think? You know, it's it's in your mind. It's You think of death, you know. But it's just an ending. Okay, but tarot, sometimes the cards are so, are so violent. So people may not be able to grasp the understanding. But in any event, the page of cups here in the position of the present for this upcoming week for you, my Cancer, is, you know, staging something very, very, very joyful. Something fun. Okay, and you're entering the sun uh, in Sagittarius, in your sixth house, uh, you know, this coming week. And you, Cancer, Sagittarius, I think they get along great, actually. They, well, there's some type of chemistry there. But on and all, you're just feeling great. Okay, let's see in the position of the future. Three of Pentacles, great. Now we have something that will grow because water and earth, make things grow three of pentacles the element of it is pentacles is earth represent resource resources not just money resource also is uh it's time network things of that nature and so you have this appreciation at work you know where now you're being looked at i think you have you you were in the past but there's this renewal of great energy where things are flowing, you know, and, you know, people are working, they're being acknowledged. Because for, for cancer, it's not just about them. They like to have a great surrounding. They like when everybody gets along, especially the people they care about. So you feel great. People at work feel great. They feel good about you. They like your work. You're being appreciated among uh, other professional in your uh, business, if, for those that are in business, in class as well, for those that are in school. The Three of, of uh, Pentacles is great time, especially to have this card in the future shows that it speaks about acknowledgement, okay? So for, when we have the best energy, when we display the best energy, we always get the best attention. And again, you know, there's something this week that's going to grow. Because we have two different elements, very compatible element in the present and the future position. Maybe it will be a love, love for your work. Or maybe it will be this time around where you're able to find a great balance in for your work and your private life. And that makes you love your work even more. Because at work, you're able to relax. You have a whole nother life. At home, is a different energy, but everybody loves you. But all in all, is. It's great. It's a great energy. All because I think you just left something. You know, you just decided to remove anxiety from your mind, just to let that go, and just to whatever about the past, cancer. Whatever about the past. Whatever about other people. Whatever about you know who is whatever that makes you feel. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't because as long as you have love, and people around you love you. People appreciate you. People know that you're you're great at what you do. They want to spend time with you. They want to learn from you as well. So it's a beautiful week for you, my lovely Cancer. I will leave you on this. I want to tell you that I love you so much. Um, I'm so happy to have a lot of Cancer in my life. And uh, feel free to comment on this video I would love if you would like to subscribe as well you could like and share my video I have a Facebook group as well that you could uh, add and communicate with me I do give different type of lesson about tarot until next week uh, cancer I love you and have a beautiful week Mwah!